This is Alain Savas from Army Recognition. I am at DVD, the International Defence Exhibition in uh, Millbrook, UK, and I'm now at the front of the GLTV from Rookie Martin. I am now with Mori, International Business Development Director, to have more details about the GLTV. Mori, good morning. Good morning. For which programs Lockheed Martin has developed the GLTV program? Well, this particular vehicle is Lockheed Martin's entry into the JLTV. JLTV is the, stands for Joint Like Tactical Vehicle. It's a program in the United States for the U.S. Army and Marine Corps to basically replace the Humvee fleet that is now old, and this is Lockheed Martin's entry into the competition. This particular vehicle is a prototype. This, this particular vehicle is four and a half to five years old. Um, Lockheed Martin has provided 22 of the new, latest version of the JLTV. Looks very similar, but many of the features are different. Two things in particular that Lockheed Martin is focused on is the survivability and the mobility of the vehicle. The survivability is a scalable answer or a scalable situation where we can, you can change the survivability levels and the protection levels for the occupants depending on the mission set. And then the mobility is something we particularly focused on to meet the demand and requirements of the customer. Currently, well, the program is in competition, and we're one of three competitors uh, to provide the vehicle and the total vehicle system. Right now, it's, it's, we're finishing up with the engineering, manufacturing, and development phase. So there's another three months of uh, reliability and mobility testing, and then there'll be a two-month period of limited user testing, and this is where this is where they take troops and soldiers to go out and put the vehicle through its paces. So that should last through approximately November of this year. And then after November, there'll be a proposal effort for the final down select to one provider for the future of the program. We've gotten great feedback from the customer during the reliability and mobility testing, and we're looking forward to the users getting their hands on our 22 vehicles. Uh, the UK has a different program. As I said, JLTV is a US program. In the UK, there's a program called MRVP, multi-role vehicle protected. We believe that the JLTV is a good basis for consideration for that program. It's still up to the UK government to determine what the final requirements will be, but we've got it here to let them write it and let them see it to perhaps, you know, to learn from that and shape their requirements. Of course, Lockheed has a major presence here in Amptill in the UK, and we think this particular vehicle is a really great option.